What's up guys, Storm Reborn here, and welcome back to another video, and yeah, you can tell by the title of the video, that this is, this is about, um, a nuke. In vanilla Minecraft, uh, hold on. So, you might not know this, but there is, uh, an old way to make a very powerful nuke in Minecraft, and it's completely vanilla. You just need a rose bush. You just need some stone or some other material that you can simply do like so. You would have regular train tracks. Yes, regular train tracks. Blah, I can speak. Regular train tracks. And then you would get some gravel. But that's the whole issue right there. Gravel can no longer be placed on top of the rose bush, which was a huge part of this nuke. Um, and it doesn't work anymore, you know, it doesn't work. So, today, what I'm going to be showing you is how to make a brand new nuke in Minecraft that is just as powerful, if not more powerful, than the old one. Now, does it require more building materials? Yes, yes it does, and this one actually involves special rails along with it. Now, um, it's a little more expensive to make in survival. Uh, I'm not gonna show right now... A, how many uh, items you need because I'm still learning ways to make it smaller But uh, this area right here is a pretty good area to do it I'm very far away from that over there because the explosion radius of this is very wide so uh, do, 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 We need to go one higher so this would be underground potentially you would need to dig at least like five blocks underground If you want this to work the way you want it to so then you would simply place a piston place that there then you would have your very own power rail right there which would go like that now you shouldn't do this I tried that and it doesn't activate it that well so it like has some glitches so I would recommend staying with that and if it works for you good for you I'd it just never worked for me um, then you would have this is all stone related you can make it wood related too and use a wooden pressure plate gold blah 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 you know and if you even got a mod for, like, different types of pressure plates, you could do that, too. Or hidden pressure plates or something like that. But anyways, you would have a pressure plate right there, which would activate this, which would send them going like that. Now, I do this just to make sure that the minecarts stay inside this little capsule when they go off. Uh, it's really kind of pointless. And I don't watch it go off for, like like right as it goes off up close simply because it's hard to do that because your frames drop sometimes um but this is really it now if you're to do this in survival it would be extremely expensive when it comes to the minecart with tnt if you want the explosion to be big uh but if you do this and you look at the e in the top left uh, next to it, it shows 34, 33 out of 68. That's entities. I place one, it adds an entity. You keep going until you get to what you want to be at. I'm going to go until 95. And that would tell you how many minecarts I placed. This is how you keep track of how many minecarts you placed. How many would I recommend? I'd recommend 50. Um, and that can generally explode in a 25 by 25 radius. So be careful if you're near a structure that you care about because you really could just destroy it and you don't want to do that but yeah just imagine this is all covered up blah 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 it would activate like so that's how this works um i guess i can activate it for you there it is just like that instant there's no time for the person to escape, and they will die instantly. Now, this is the dumbed-down version. I did 100 over here. Over there, I did 50-ish. Over here, I did, well, probably more than 100. I probably did, like, 150, 200. But I set it up in a cave down here. So, if I just... Imagine I am just someone who is strolling in a cave. Okay. I go in here. Imagine I don't see that. 
because chances are you're going to see it unless it's really dark. And I step on it, well, that's the end of everything. Absolutely destroyed this area. I mean, annihilated it. The cave, well, the entrance to the cave is gone. I can't even show you where it entered. Probably right here. And it went to, like, here. It is also an extremely nice mining tool. And it mines the blocks for you. But I would recommend not using a lot of TNT because it can still blow up the ores that you previously destroyed with another piece of TNT. If this water wasn't here, it would have done way more damage. But there's water there. So that's just that. Now... There's really no, like, limit to how big you can make these nukes in Minecraft. You can make them as big as you want. And if you ever make it in a sand biome, uh, well, you might crash your computer. Because the physics of sand will make it so they fly everywhere when it explodes. But, I'll do it anyways. Because, why the heck not? So... Just simply boom like so I'm not gonna even do the piston part that makes it even cheaper uh, so feel free to do it however you want just don't do it wrong because <laughs> it won't work if you do it wrong um, so then I could probably even make it so the capsule goes over this and because that's what activates it but I don't feel like doing that so just put that like so. And number of entities currently is 50-ish. So we'll go to 350. Yep, 350 sounds right. I like 350. So while I'm doing this, I'll talk about some stuff. Um, Have you guys seen any uploads? Because... I set four videos to upload about a week and a half ago, and I set them to upload like two days apart, and they haven't uploaded. I think it might be because I pressed the back button after I set them to upload, but technically that shouldn't do anything, whatever. Um, I might go to 500, uh, but I don't know what happened to them. They just didn't go up. I had... A new series that I started that I wanted to really continue with you guys but then that had to screw up for some reason so here we are um, I don't know if I want to continue this series because I did start a survival world and I did start surviving on there and I don't want to continue it without those four episodes of progress I didn't get insanely far I really just explored caves and stuff but still you know it's like I wish it didn't screw up because it took me quite a while to make those videos and whatever. But that happened. Uh, we're almost at 500. That would mean, let's see, we were at 50 before. That's 450 of these. Roughly. Let's just get there real quick. Also, each minecart you place takes down your frames. I am currently going to, like, if I stand right next to it, I get roughly 35 frames so 35 frames is pretty bad <laughs> uh, but yeah hope you guys enjoy the video make sure you leave a like subscribe comment down below and yeah here we go <laughs> Beautiful. I also love the sound it makes. It sounds like it's meant to make that sound. And it just makes a really cool exploding sound. I love it. Because it makes a sound even more menacing. And it leaves a kind of a pattern at first. You see these little, like, one extended areas. Like, if you got modded stuff. 
really really cool i love this um if this was underground it really would have done a lot more damage but i did it on the surface and that's still a lot of damage to do on the surface yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like subscribe comment down below and try this for yourself i'll see you guys next time peace out the storm again